And welcome back tonight. We're celebrating Western New York with a summertime staple in the city of Buffalo. The Juneteenth Festival has been going strong for 43 years and it returns tomorrow to MLK Park. Channel 2's Claudine Ewing has been previewing the festival all week long and tonight she focuses in on what's new this year. Juneteenth can be an experience. The sound of the music, the taste of the food, it's cultural. When you go to Juneteenth, you'll see lots of African garb, which is back in style. In fact, I came to Cybo Imports on Allen and put on one. This could be a dress or... Yes, it really could be a dress or, or skirt. You can unzip it, it could be a dress, and it's straight from Ghana. I like it. This year, there are approximately 170 vendors. The African artifacts. We have people from uh, all over the United States coming to Juneteenth selling their wares. But there's more. We have a whole section designed for our teenage, our high school age, young adults. Um, over the last couple of years, we've been taking polls and listening, even okay. asking them what do they want to do instead of just hanging around. There's going to be a youth zone with an edutainment stage along with games and competition. It's dealing with educational competition, mm -hmm. physical agility, as well as some fun. So it's going to be like a series, like an Olympics of multi-activities for young teams to actually compete in. And this is what they want. This is what they want. The popularity of the movie Black Panther is hinted at in this year's Juneteenth Festival poster. A flashback to the past, a history lesson, and all eyes on the future. Black Panther is one of the only times that young black people have seen African images in a positive light working together. And Juneteenth's future is what Jomo is all about. We're working on this new aspect called Juneteenth, 365, um, Juneteenth forever, not like the movie, but Juneteenth forever is uh, what we're communicating. And for the first time, more professionals are involved in activities throughout the year. <laughs> the splash pad will be open, and this year the crowning of not king and queen, but Malik and Malika. For the whole year, they're going to be the young representatives, the young king and queen, uh, representing the ideals of Juneteenth, and we want to put that proactivity back in the community again and, and that, that pride that comes with it. Remember, it was June 19th, 1865, when soldiers learned they were free. Juneteenth, a celebration of freedom, and Buffalo is proud to host one of the largest festivals in the world. We have so many different cultures here, and all of our cultures make our city spicy. The more every culture is included and inspired to be its best, the whole city prospers. Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News.